Today, we are here to honor two true American heroes. When I look in here and I look outside, what a fantastic tribute. As the families know, President Trump recognized both Tony and Eric as true American heroes. When we were on our way down to pick up Tony and Eric and bring them back home to Westerville, the director of the FBI called, asking that I relay his condolences to the family, and he recognized two true American heroes. We have so many state dignitaries, Mr. and Mrs. Kasich, Attorney General DeWine, State Secretary Houston, State Auditor Yost, and, and so many other state dignitaries here, and our city dignitaries here, all recognizing true American heroes. Our citizens, not just of this community, but not just Ohio, and not just the United States, but all over the world, has shown overwhelming support for these two families with telephone calls, with letters, just letting them know that they are in their thoughts and prayers. Importantly, I look out at the sea of public safety officials. And it amazes me that you all are here to, to give honor to two American heroes, true American heroes. You know, today we throw that term around like it's candy. We've got cartoon characters that are heroes. We've got sports figures that are heroes. But that's not the truth. Today we honor two true American heroes. I know this won't make the passing of Eric and Tony any easier for the families. But you all knew before this day, before this event, that Tony and Eric were true American heroes. Some people become heroes by one event or one action, but that's not the case here. While well, Tony and Eric literally gave their lives for another to become true American heroes, they were American heroes way before that, and the families know that. You know, I've reflected this past week, and as many have, and reassessed life's priorities. And I was thinking back to a time when I was at a sporting event, and I was ejected from a game for my improper and unacceptable behavior. My father sat me down and he counseled me. And he gave me some really strong words of wisdom. And he told me, your actions result in your reputation. And when your reputation is tarnished, you've lost trust. And that is awful hard to get back. Consequently, if you live a life that's righteous and a life of giving above yourself, that also reflects. 
And that's who these two were. That is exactly what made Tony and Eric true American heroes. It wasn't this event. And it wasn't this day. It was their entire life. You see, both these guys were givers. Always, always the first to give. I look at the department. When somebody needed a shift covered, boy, they were ready to fill in. Whether it was a day, a shift, or whether it was five minutes to sit down with a new troop and watch Tony mentor a new troop through something as simple as paperwork, they were givers. I look at family and think about how excited Tony was with Beth's upcoming wedding. And I think about Eric and how he would, in his very humble and shy way, brag on Jamie and the girls. I think about the community and all the tributes we've heard in this last week. We heard from the ladies at the library and the, the employees at the library that when Tony worked special duty, he made absolutely sure that every night after dark, those people made it out to their cars so they were safe. The average person doesn't do that. Then I thought back on Eric and Sam, and I thought back to Cops and Kids Day this past year, and I was in the dunk tank, and Eric was right off to my side with Sam, and I watched him in the course of the day, and I watched the impact he had on the kids coming up to talk to him and Sam. And I watched because every time I got dunked, Eric smiled. <laughs> when he finally realized that every kid gets to dunk me, he smiled a lot that day. <laughs> but that was him. He had that quiet little smile. And when I looked over, he had a good day that day. Both, Terry, both Tony and Eric understood what a good cop was. They understood that being a good cop is about relationships. It's about community. It's about doing for others. And these two guys did that every single day they came to the job. A lot of the rest of us have bad days where we kind of ease off. That was not in their vocabulary. They gave and gave every single day. So you see, it is not this event. And it is not this day that made Tony and Eric true American heroes. <laughs>